YouTube. So not only did we get team of the week for week 13 in game today, we also got team infinity two, which is a plethora of team builders, divisional heroes and masters such as Hertz and Justin Reed. So the way that these cards work, if you guys don't know, Jalen Hertz is gonna get all NFC team chems and Justin Reed is gonna get all AFC team chems. Also these 92s will get all team chems for their division. So Mark Andrews will be getting Bengals, Browns, Ravens obviously and Steelers, Bolton, AFC West, and uh, so on and so forth down the list. Bills did get a Trey White. Now that on top of all of the Team of the Week cards is going to fluctuate the rankings a lot. Enough for me to make a video going over all of the theme teams that got boosts and maybe we look at a couple of the theme teams that dropped a little bit. But I like to do these theme team universal updates, basically just talking about all of the theme teams rather than just picking one theme team and making a video for it. Also, let me know down in the comments what theme teams we want to see on the channel this week before we get zero chill. I am catching up on theme teams right now and I would like to know which theme teams we need to prioritize to getting on the channel. So please let me know what theme teams you guys wanna see. Literally everyone go down in the comments and say what theme team you wanna see next. So these are the updated rankings after the team builders and team of the week cards got added into the game. This is last week's rankings from December 3rd. We can see the Texans theme team improved. We can see Tennessee improved, Minnesota, Philadelphia, Miami, and Kansas City. So we're going to briefly look at all those theme teams and maybe circle back for a couple others. We're going to be starting with the Texans theme team. All right, so Texans on offense, really we got no upgrades besides Ryan Fitzpatrick from the comp pass. New 94 overall, 3 AP Power Master, 2 AP Set Feet lead. Ryan Fitzpatrick going to get a lot of team comes, helping out a lot of theme teams with quarterback problems because obviously he's played for like eight teams uh, defensively is where the Texans theme team had a pretty solid day. We got Carlos Watkins team of the week, 94 overall defensive tackle upgrade. We got Justin Reed as the highest card overall that came out today, 94 overall safety. So he'll be 95 speed on the theme team. I'm gonna be giving this player a tryout later tonight on stream, fake jock rebrand. Uh oh, what's happening? Fake jock later tonight on Twitch, trying out Justin Reed. We're also gonna be testing DK Metcalf. And the Texans theme team also got Bradley Roby for their corner one. Albeit, it's really not a good corner one. It is going to help them in the rankings. And 90 speed corner, 88 overall. Hopefully, we can get some more Texans love because I would love to feature this team on the channel. Our next team that did receive a couple upgrades is the Titans theme team. Reoccurring theme here, Ryan Fitzpatrick at starting quarterback. We got Nate Davis at right guard from today's promo, 92 overall. So that's definitely a solid upgrade there where they had no right guard prior to that. And we could look at Mariota as well. Uh, you know, maybe you want to upgrade to Mariota while you're grinding for Fitzpatrick on the comp pass. Mariota does get 2 AP Gunslinger and 2 AP Set Feet Lead. So whichever ability you like more out of that in the third tier, nothing really worth using in my opinion. So Mariota could be a decent, uh, not even a filler, just a substitute, just a placeholder until Ryan Fitzpatrick uh, is in your binder. Defensively, Titans theme team, Cameron Wake, 94 overall coming off the edge. What abilities does he get? One AP edge threat and zero AP speedster. I would actually be interested in trying Reach Elite this year. So maybe a Reach Elite edge threat stack would be kind of nasty. We also got 88 overall David Long. And this was a team prior to that that had no linebackers. Those were the two middle linebackers, Rashawn Evans and Zach Cunningham. So Long at 89 speed is going to be a minor upgrade, hopefully. Uh, we can see some more improvement in that position. Bringing the Titans up to number 20, 20 spot. Texans are up to 24. Titans are up to 20. Vikings are up to 16. A Vikings offense doesn't seem to have any upgrades that I'm seeing. Ed Ingram, right guard. Ed Ingram, right guard, 88 overall. So the offensive line is just about at an 88 to 89 average. So that's pretty solid. Uh, on defense, Dalvin Tomlinson, left end. I thought he was a defensive tackle player specifically is one ap out of my way no real abilities that i would run on dalvin thomason but that is going to be an upgrade uh from mcgill or zadarius smith small upgrade for the for the vikings but that did bump them up a point and what are they at minnesota at 56 yeah so that made them jump but once again nothing crazy we did get jaron curse but ea did this card so wrong 86 speed on an 88 overall card just makes this card unfortunately unusable i jaron curse last year i think easter promo Easter promo, uh, challenge card, free card. He was disgusting. Kansas City Chiefs did cash out in this promo. So we received anyone on offense? I don't believe so. From what I could see, uh, we got a right tackle, Andrew Wiley. 
for our 88 team builder for the Chiefs on defense. Justin Reed, Nick Bolton. So two big pieces on defense. Upgrade at middle linebacker at most likely your user if you're running a Chiefs theme team to get Lurker. Lurker for one. And then Justin Reed as one of your safeties. Pick artist for one AP. And then either flat zone, mid zone. Yeah, I like the zone archetype safety. So I'm going to be running flat zone on him later tonight. Seeing how that works. But Chiefs theme team only getting better on defense. Really just waiting for that Mahomes card. And this could be a top five theme team. Moving over to the Dolphins. Looking at the Dolphins theme team. They also moved up in the rankings. We received a right tackle. So offensive line getting a little bit of help there. Ryan Fitzpatrick at QB. We did get Cameron Wake from the team of the week drop. So it's going to be Mario Williams, Cameron Wake, Jason Taylor, Emmanuel Ogba. Really good pass rush on this team and could use one more safety, but that is really it. So they jumped. Okay. Yeah. That Cameron Wake, I think helped him out a decent amount. Same with QB. His Cutler was a four for me. Fitzpatrick's going to be a five. And then last, uh, and certainly not least, Eagles theme team got the biggest card of today's drop. Jalen Hurts, 94 overall with 93 speed. Sitting at about a million coins. Hopefully that goes down. Fearless for 2 AP and pass lead elite for 3 AP. Once again, not the greatest abilities on this card, but 94 overall quarterback. Definitely can't go wrong there. We also received Mike Dicka at tight end. Lane Johnson at right tackle. So this team really did get a lot better. We just got Jason Kelsey the other day. Lane Johnson, Ditka, Hurts added into the starting lineup in one day. On a theme team that was already, I think they were three. Now they're number two behind only Legends theme team. We got a Rodney McLeod. Uh, we got Eric Allen upgraded to a 94. So he'll be a 95 speed corner. That's kind of ridiculous. And we also got, I can't forget to mention him. If you want to run this guy, Quez Watkins. I want an underdog bet on Quez Watkins the other week. Oh, Jock over there, over at underdog. Quez Watkins does get 93 speed. So if you're running more of a budget Eagles theme team, you could plug Quez Watkins into the starting lineup if needed. If needed, he's definitely a budget demon. But Eagles theme team looking pretty solid at the number three spot. Briefly going over the rankings. Legends at one. Oh, Eagles at two. I misspoke. Dallas down to three. Four through eight, all stagnant. Green obviously means a team moved up. Red means a team moved down. And then gray is just the teams in the same spot as last week. Houston, Minnesota, Tennessee, Philadelphia, Miami, Kansas City. Profiting the most from the drops today. There's a lot of cards added into the game. So I just wanted to address what was going on this dk card also is really good abilities he gets deep out elite for one ap and then in the second that was in the second last bucket one ap red zone threat not gonna be running at red zone threat at all but dk metcalf with one ap deep out is definitely worthy of a team tryout fake jock twitch tonight 7 p.m eastern be there please let me know down in the comments what theme teams we need to get on the channel asap because uh in the coming days i'm probably gonna start double uploading or at least trying it out seeing how that works. So yeah, little universal theme team update. Go out, grab your cards for your theme teams. See if you can get them done uh, via the sets so you don't have to spend as much coin. But uh, Legends theme team, no nothing really crazy today. Dick, a tight end, maybe the only card I'd consider. Maybe Cameron Wake as well. I think Reggie White's better. With that being said, Jock signing out.